Welcome to this video on how to manipulate and sort the columns in your attendance report form spreadsheet. We have a few tips and suggestions to help you work with the information that your staff have been reporting to you through their attendance form. So you should have access to a spreadsheet that looks very similar to this, where your staff, as they complete the attendance form, their information goes into a spreadsheet like this one. So you can move some of the information in here without it affecting where the results go. So you may find you want to move the timestamp, the username, and the designation to the end of the spreadsheet, and it's a simple thing to do. So select the, spread, select the column at the top, click and hold, and just simply drag it to where you want to go. So you can drag it to the end. Where this bold bar is showing up is where the column is going to be dropped. So I'll let go, and it drops it. I'll drag back to the end of my spreadsheet. Again, click and hold. And I want to move it here. And then I'll do the same with the designation column. We do need this information collected as it confirms the users who are submitting information to your spreadsheet but it is not essential every time that you uh, do your approvals, so we'll just leave it at the end. But it's always there, you can just drag it over and double check the usernames and the timestamp if you need that information. You may also want to move the approval column to the front of the spreadsheet. If you were not given an approval column in your spreadsheet, you can just simply go to the end, make an approval column, and then drag it to the front. This is where you will simply just put your initials in as you approve each absence. We would ask that you leave the rest of the columns in their original order, such as do you have any absences, date absent from, date absent to, and so on, as this will help HR staff as they move this information into their own specific reporting software. Second, another way to manipulate this sheet is to use the text wrap feature. So you may want to use you may want to use that feature on this column. Do you have any absences to report? So if you select the column, and then up in the bar in the top, there's a text wrapping button. If you click on this and choose the middle option, it will wrap the text and make it fit the size of the column that's already there. You can also drag, if you go up to this and let the double-sided arrow, if you hover over the, mid, the, uh, the edge of each column, if I click and hold, I can now drag the size that I want this to be. Or one last thing I can do is if, again, I put my double-sided arrow, if I hover over it, the double-sided arrow shows up. If I double-click, it will automatically size my column to fit the text that I have. So another place where this might come in handy is down in the remarks or reason for absence. You may want to make this fit, or you may want to just drag it to a smaller size. And again, here in the remarks, double-click, it will then make it fit. And one last tip you can do is to add color to your columns. So for your approval column, just so it's easy to find, if you highlight this, click in the, the lettered section at the top to highlight it, and then go up to the bar and go to the fill color button. It looks like a little paint can that's tipped over. Click on that, choose a color you like. It will now highlight that approval column so it's easy to find and mark with your initials. Please feel free to contact the HR office if you need any other assistance with these steps. In the next video, I will show you how you can determine how many staff members have submitted their attendance information each month using this name column. Thanks and have a great day.